Well, Archer is out there. It's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And what we have here is my PSD Stinger 3G bow. And what I did was I had Roger over at the archery range increase the pound draw weight to 43 pounds. We had it at 40. And the idea is to get a little more feet per second out of the arrows. Plus, I went ahead and invested in these victory arrows they're the skinnier arrows and they are the v3s which means they have a higher grade of straightness than the v6s so i went ahead and shot these at the archery range and they shot very well actually seem to be tighter groups but let's go ahead and take these now and chronograph to see if the 43 pound draw weight plus the narrower arrows these are 110 grain tips so let's see if these will shoot faster than the 220 feet per second we got at the last at the last adjustment to 40 pounds with my older arrows okay let's go ahead and shoot three shots and uh, see what kind of velocity we're getting the chronograph is just off the screen Okay, let's see what we got there. Okay, we have one shot at 234, then another at 235, another at 233. High of 235, low of 233, average of 234, extreme spread of two, and a standard deviation of zero. Well, you know, I hate to say this, but it's hard to get that kind of performance from our pistol or rifle ammo. We get standard deviations around 16 to 35 or 37. We got zero here. So what's that tell you about how, how archery systems work? And I wasn't trying for real good accuracy there just to get the chronograph readings, but look at the uh, three shots there, two of them almost in the same hole. And the other one uh, wasn't uh, that good. But that's not uh, bad for these new arrows. The accuracy is actually discernible. So archers out there take care. And sometimes a $13 arrow is a lot better than a $10 arrow.